guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be making a simple hairband with this fabric hair i would also be making use of a tape roll my big elastic band and of course we'll be making use of my scissors so let's go into this tutorial the first thing i'm going to be doing here today is to mark out my measurements for making the front part of this band and to get these I divided my uh, measurement round the owner of this headband has a very small head so I measured round her head and that gave me 20 inches so I decided to cut this first part out by 16 inches long and 7 inches wide so the longer part of this piece that you see me cutting out right now is 16 inches and the other part of it does the length this is a rectangle actually so it is 16 inches long and 7 inches wide and I made two of this then after that remember that I said that the circumference of the head is 20 inches I already have 16 inches so the next um, measurement I need now will be 4 inches to complete my 20 inches which is the circumference of the head so what I'm going to do here now is to take double that measurement so I decided to cut this particular piece out with 8.5 which is going to serve the extra five in half inch sorry is going to serve as my stitching allowance and on the other side this other side here I'm taking 3.5 this is going to serve as my elastic casing at the back so basically when it's time for elastic I will just make it exactly the length I want but for this I decided to cut out 8 inches so these are the pieces that we are going to be making use of to make this hairband so guys the first thing i'm going to do now is to take this to the sewing machine and as you can see me doing like this i'm going to fold it into two like this and i'm going to stitch it all the way down at this edge and i'm going to do the same thing for these other two pieces as well these bigger pieces as well remember that i said i made two of these i'm going to explain why i made two of these later in the course of this video i'm going to turn this particular piece to the back and i'm going to stitch it just along the side as well so this is what i've done i've stitched all three pieces together down i'm just going to turn it to the right side using my scissors This process is a very simple one and you can use basically anything, a comb, you can even use your uh, safety pin, whatever it is that you decide to use to sew as long as we all um, achieve the same result at the end of the day, I guess it's 100% fine. So guys this is it this is what it looks like after i turn it to the right side so i'm going to leave these two parts aside now and i'm going to work on this elastic casing that i made earlier remember the measurement around the owner of this hairband um head is um 14 inches it's 20 inches sorry and i am supposed to now add an elastic band of four inches but i decided to cut it out at five inches just in case she has hair or wig or whatever she wants to put on so now i'm going to put this into the elastic casing that i already made so here i would hold it down with a pin just to make sure that um, it doesn't go all the way through when I continue to pass the elastic band through this casing. So now that I, as you can see I'm done with this and this is what it looks like. I cut, remember I cut this out with eight, the casing out with 8 inches so that it will have enough room for stretch. So this is why. What I'm going to do now is to go to the sewing machine and stitch this place down and I also remove the pin and stitch this place down as well. 
so it's all stitched down and this is what it looks like so now we're going to leave this aside and we're going to come back to the bigger pieces which are these two remember i said i was going to explain why i had two of this particular piece remember we need 16 inches for the front part of this headband and together this is going to this is actually 32 inches what i'm going to do is to fold each piece into two like this and i'm going to make it like a cross right in the middle and i'm making sure that the part where i stitch it down is right in the middle and i'm going to fold each part to meet each other like this so this is the reason why i cut it out at exactly 16 inches so by the time i join it together again 8 plus 8 inches will give me that 16 inches back so after doing this now if i measure this out now guys it's going to be 16 inches which is exactly what i want i did add extra allowances and everything because you saw just now that my elastic band i cut it out at exactly 5 inches so all this is going to so at the end of the day it all fits perfectly so now i'm going to place this right in the middle this casing here right in the middle of this like this and i'm going to use one side to cover it and use the other side to cover this as well so what i'm going to do now is stitch this part down on the sewing machine this part is all stitched down and i'm just going to cut off this little bit of excess on this side just to ensure that it looks very neat I'm just going to pull on the elastic casing and this is what I have just the same way I did this particular part I'm just going to turn over to the other side as well I'll ensure that I'm using the same part so that I don't have like front and back somehow um, mixed together so just the same part I used initially I'm going to take the end of the hairband as you see me doing like this and I'm going to take it to meet these other two pieces here and I'm going to fold it up just the same way I did the other part and as well I'll take it to the sewing machine and stitch it down so this part has been stitched down as well and this is basically all for this video honestly it's really that simple and you can see the tie effects in front that uh, cross thing just basically gave it that tie effect in front and this is how you make your very own hairband very simple and easy let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section and if today was your first time on this channel welcome i wonder why you have not subscribed please click that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well i will see you in the next video guys bye bye